so many texts, mails. Thanks to all those people who checked up on me. But if you are wondering where I was, thank goodness. As you can see, I am not dead. I am still alive. Was working on this documentary that almost took my entire life. But thank goodness, we were able to finish in less than a year. And so we got to this town, which looked like an ancient first century neighborhood. Right? No electricity. Nothing. Thank God we went in there with a couple of solar panels that we fixed which helped us in charging our batteries and stuff but it looked so old you see donkeys everywhere taking shit around pissing all over the place you could see three chickens at the street corners head bopping at the same time horses chicken playing around happily thank goodness there was no kfc around to cook them these people do not really know how or do not know too much on how advanced the world is compared to theirs. I personally, for some reason, felt they knew but weren't just interested. Most often, you come out in the mornings and you see people walking about naked and it was so normal. You know, their level of tolerance and respect was also high. Now, one thing that really got my attention was how they worshipped right looked very concerning they simply looked up and prayed no statues or anything of that sort and so i got curious and decided to ask but interestingly they are unable to understand us and we also don't understand them but the few gestures that we do we are able to understand them and they they are for some reason they also are able to understand but it's not consistent sometimes you need to do a whole lot of gestures to get one thing right right so i got curious and decided to get into it, it seemed exactly to me like the one in the christian books their style of worship you know the first part of the christian book um the first part you know the christian book the bible there is this first part and then the second part yeah look the first part how they worship look exactly it seems to me had something in common very similar but they didn't have a bible they just did that and that really scared the shit out of me how they worshiped you know nobody had preached to them about god they had never had god but they just did that and i can't really figure out what was really motivating them to believe that there is something up there because they kept looking up anytime they wake up in the morning they come out look up naked just look up and they did their own thing just praying doing their own thing you know some people might think you know a couple of colleagues that i went with thought oh man the ladies might be cheap right the women there are very expensive you don't get too close to them unless you are interested in getting married it's nothing like our society today this is a very very well cultured society and so i had to do within my perfect best to ensure that nothing in there is tempered with right because our society is fully corrupted i really appreciated and liked this and so we didn't do anything there just went shot our videos in the jungle did whatever that we wanted to do and then boom came back the documentary was a success and we are still at the editing stage man i miss youtube has my channel been monetized yet has my channel been monetized no man <laughs> that's so long anyways it's close to a year since I uploaded a video on YouTube. Yeah, close to a year. I'm back upgraded with more content and lots of interviews with a lot of um, professionals in the 3D field. Yeah, I've also come to read a lot of comments on people wanting me to work on certain kinds of 3D videos for them. I got you, man. I'll do that. 
looks like the 3d world is a bit quiet because i'm not really seeing anything new around i don't think i missed out on anything whilst whilst i was away i had a couple of blender um, complete beginners tutorials i was working on before i left i'll see to it that i finish it's over two hours and it should be fun one thing i would like people to know is this i test and recommend softwares to people based on their budget their style of work and the field they find themselves in i don't want to be the bad guy here recommending untested softwares plugins and stuff for people and so if you are emailing me about something of that sort you should know this I wouldn't just recommend your software for some bugs simply because my channel is small because though it's a small channel I get a lot of companies reaching out for me to do that for them. I wouldn't do that. Okay. It's a new chapter and if you've not subscribed, can you do that and let's boil online together. See you in my next video. Peace out.